Ah, well, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, we've already had a look at the uh, Spider Farmer um, uh, 11 gallon grow bags and uh, now we're moving on to the uh, Spider, Spider Farmer SF uh, 48 by 20 maybe inches, uh, the heat mats. Uh, there's two in this box. It was really well packaged for the, uh, the journey. Let's bring that over. Ensure when it gets delivered, make sure it's the UK uh, pub or wherever you uh, you uh, live in the world. On the back, we've got there the Spider Farmer perfect heating solutions for germination and rooting. I haven't had a, a look at these uh, in, but it's the instructions. Uh, it says do not immerse in water. Uh, obviously. There's going to be water in these trays. Uh, plug it in. This mat is designed to raise the rooting area temperature approximately 10 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit, 5 to 11 degrees C above ambient air temperature. Place the mat on a well drained surface without standing water. For warmer mat temperatures, place it on an insulated surface rather than a cold floor covering your plant tray with. A humidity cover or dome, this will also keep root area warmer and maintain humidity control for better rooting. Warnings as always, fire or electric shock uh, from improper use. Make sure that the surface under the mat is free from sharp points or objects that might puncture the mat. Do not place the mat inside the tray, inside tray or cover directly with soil or growing medium. So this is probably going to go underneath the tray, away from any water source. Uh, do not place any heat insulating material over the heat mat as it may cause it to overheat. Now, single pack, when testing the temperature, the bottom of the mat needs to be powered on overhead for more than 30 minutes. Uh, I am going to plug this in. I want to see how uh, long uh, the actual cables are. Physically has to go up. As far as the uh, aeroplanes which fly over my desk regularly. So I'll just undo the cable, we'll get you in closer. And uh, we'll see how it warms up. I'll get it plugged in, I'll bring you back. So it's just giving off uh, a, a little bit of gentle heat. Um, so this one doesn't come with a controller, so it basically just pumps um, so much electric in it. Uh, I think it's 105 watts, you might be able to see it there. Just to gently keep those uh, seedlings warm. It's uh, topped out now at... Uh, hopefully 25, something like that. So I'm going to pop it onto the other one. And I'll bring you back in about 20 minutes or when it's uh, dropped down to the ambient outdoor temperature with this sun in at the moment. So it's dropped down slightly and it's quite muggy and warm here. Obviously if the temperatures were a lot lower say over the winter etc then it would uh, would make a, a bigger difference but uh, just with hand touch you can tell the difference and it is a nice steady uh, warmth so I'll uh, leave that on there see if it'll increase um, but uh, no I'm happy with those the cables are about um, a meter meter and a half and will be ideal connecting into um, 
the uh, trip out uh, system I've got. So there are the uh, Spider Farm 11 gallon uh, cloth containers. Spider Farmer heat mats. Pause it if you want to have a little look. Then we've got the SE uh, 5000, and uh, then we've got the uh, the grow tent uh, in uh, the next parts. I'll be putting the lights together in uh, part three. We'll take you a little stroll round uh, the back garden. Thumbs up, thumbs down for the interaction. Leave me a comment. Does that have to go that way up or the other way up? I might figure it out for myself. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. To for now. Right, we're Freshly painted. Overwintered hanging basket. 